Hey, well, thought I'd do a video. Um, just kind of bored today. I need to do some repairs on the old fifth wheel. Um, what do I say? It's my trailer. It is a 2014 Jayco Eagle 27 and a half BHS. In case anybody cares. Uh, the last time I was out I, <laughs> with my kid, we managed to rip the TV antenna off the roof. So I got to try to figure out how to fix that. I want to do some cleanup in it. <sighs> Just some basic maintenance that needs to be done. I got to fix the drain valve and stuff too. I will explain to you what a fifth wheel is. A fifth wheel is a type of trailer that when you hook it up, it attaches in the bed of your truck. This is my truck, by the way. It puts the hitch, as you can see in the bed of my truck there, right over the axle of the truck. Gorilla tape, this shit is handy as F. Fix my boat cover today with it. So I figured before we uh, went up onto the roof, okay, I'll give you guys a bit of a quick look around. Right now, actually, my trailer gets stored at where my band uh, rehearses, so we have all of our equipment in here, as you can see. Um, you got your kitchen, living room. This turns into a bed. That couch is actually a very comfortable bed. This is the back bedroom, or my kids. Where's the? There it is. Uh, or my kids' bedroom. We got some bunks back here. He kind of likes it. Just. Uh, Move some of this crap out of the way. This is the bathroom. As you can see, it's, you know, decent sized bathroom, stand up shower. And this is where all the magic happens up here. This is my bedroom. It's pretty awesome. This is my bed. That's my trailer. It's pretty fun. Um, part of the reason why I'm kind of, you know, doing a little bit of videoing on this is because I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos lately. You're losing light. And I'm really liking the idea of maybe doing some form of like nomadic kind of thing for like a year where I, you know, live out of my trailer, vlog, you know, or some form of time. Maybe with a friend of mine who is very Hollywood and lives in Los Angeles and she won't, she's being a pain in the butt. You know who you are. I'm thinking about maybe doing a bunch of modifications to the old girl, clean it up, get it ready to go. Maybe like by next spring, maybe consider doing like some sort of like full time living in it. Like I'd like to change all the lights to LEDs. As you can see, they're kind of weird right now because they're like half LED. I bought some cheap ones on eBay and they were just garbage. So I kind of threw uh, one incandescent in each one just to kind of give a little bit more light in here. But yeah, so that's kind of where I'm going. We're gonna go on to the roof right now. So we're on the roof now. Oh, yeah. This is what they call a walk-on roof. You can actually walk around on here and it won't collapse, hopefully. I've actually been up here before. That's the, the slide out there. So kids, this is what happens when you're an idiot like me and you leave your antenna up. See this? That broke off from there. Yeah, I'm dumb. So what I'm gonna try to do is actually put this and just attach it to there and then I won't have to worry about it for a while. Sponsoring me in any possible way. I just like the product. And then we add some water. Nothing fancy. Back in my 
trailer. I'm gonna pull that off. I'm gonna put some tape on inside and just do a couple small things in here. Um, yeah, <laughs> the roof, that was more of a pain in the ass than it was worth. Well, I guess it wasn't worth it. Luckily, I found that there was a friggin' slice on the roof, so now I gotta figure out how to fix that. That'll be fun. Uh, yeah, other than that, I washed the whole outside, washed the top. You know, made a huge difference. Did some tidying up here. As you can see, I uh, kind of reorganized all of our gear. But, yeah, no. No, I think I put it too low. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm done. For today, anyways. Um, got a few things done. I'll show you here quickly. It's the pump down there. It's right back in there. And that's the water pump. If you look underneath at that, there's like a little piece of foam down in there, right? Right there. Right there, you can kind of hear it. It's to quieten it down so that when you know the pump comes on, it sounds so loud. Under the sink more, there's a little piece of hose that's laying on the floor. It just kind of keeps the vibrations down. So I put some more foam just like wrapped around that. And uh, yeah, and then I also cleaned this up. You can't see it now, but what I did was I took like this aluminum tape. Gaps everywhere. And what it does is it, there's like, where are they? It's like these, these are little AC vents. That's the air conditioning. So what they do is it ducks it all over the trailer. So you have AC all over the trailer. But there's like big holes that are kind of falling over. There's big holes in there that I tried to seal up anyways. Um, that just basically kind of, it just goes off into the cavity, like in the roof. So it's like wasting cold air. Oh God, I look like poo. It's kind of like the first couple of steps to getting this thing ready if I decide I want to, you know, do some other stuff. Maybe I can get some sponsors to help me out. That'd be great. Probably not. Nobody likes me, but it's cool. I'd like to do some LED lights inside and out. Like all my exterior lights, like the driving lights and stuff like that. Um, tail lights, whatnot. Maybe some solar would be nice. I have a generator, but like a nice place to put that would be handy. But, but yeah, so that's today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, like, subscribe if you do. Maybe I'll do more of these. Comments, whatever. Man, I look like crap. You can tell I've been rolling around inside my trailer all day. But, um, anyways, yeah, um, let me know what you think and comment below whatever and maybe we can get Isley that's who it was I looking at you you Isley I know you're gonna be watching this two trainees in a truck towing a trailer it's my idea let's do it even if for like a month or two that'd be cool just to drive all over North America but anyways I'm out have a good night